So ladies, if you want to live the life as a godly woman, a godly mom, a godly wife, you have to be in Christ. Because then you'll be able to, through the power of the Holy Spirit, to do it God's way. Because the only way we can carry out these roles is by abiding in the vine. Amen? And letting the Holy Spirit flow through us. Ladies, if you live as a godly mom, a godly wife and mother, you're going to be like a salmon going upstream because the world's going to tell you, no, 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 that's not what you should be as a mom, as a woman. Get your career, do this, do that. And the Lord's saying, mm, no, we have it a little bit different and she'll be blessed in the end. Amen. And listen carefully, as you develop the fruit of the Spirit and incorporate them into your personal life, you can be that Christ-like example. You can be the dynamic person within your family that is going to nurture your family to thrive and mature, not only as people, but as people who can come to Christ and live for Christ. Let them see that godly example in you. You can teach without teaching. Do you hear me? You can teach without teaching. And what I mean is this, the way you act, the way you react, the way you interact with your husband and with your kids, the way you speak and do teaches volumes. We can instruct all we want from the Word, but when the kids see us living it out in our lives, it has an effect. Let your kids see you in time in prayer, your time in the Word, and they see your example of you as a person seeking the Lord God so that you will start to build that hopefully in them, that they will take that example from you, moms and dads, so a lot of this stuff applies to us also, men. May the Lord and may our Lord and Savior fill you fresh and new today with the Spirit and bless you today and every day as we await His glorious appearing. And may you be that fruitful vine that nourishes all whose lives you touch along this life's journey.